Flea beetles are tiny, hard-shelled insects that can jump like fleas when threatened. They can also walk and fly. There are hundreds of different species. They are my nemesis and very annoying. Flea beetles chew irregular-sized random holes in the leaves of plants. Bad cases make the plant look like lace. Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel where we talk about organic gardening, wildlife, and environmental education. Flea beetles can be hard to control because they move quickly and have a hard exoskeleton that protects them. They are not picky about who they attack. However, I have personally found them to be the worst on radishes, turnips, brassicas, and eggplants. Flea beetles overwinter overwinter in the soil under leaf litter around bushes or at the edge of woodlots. A particularly cold winter may knock them back a bit. In spring, they emerge from the soil and females begin to lay eggs. This is a larva of the red-headed flea beetle. The larva can be hard to spot as they are less than a half inch long, sometimes less than a fourth of an inch. Let's talk about prevention and control. That said, row cover is your best friend. Place a layer over young transplants. Uncover them when the weather warms or they begin to flower. I have often used radishes as a trap plant. That means I plant them next to other vulnerable plants like eggplants. Ironically, that radishes seem to produce pretty well, even with a heavy infestation. My poor eggplants just curl up and die. Another great companion plant is mint. The strong smell confuses the flea beetle and they have a hard time locating the plants they wish to eat. So if you have watched my eggplant video, you will know about these two tricks. I plant my eggplants in the greenhouse and have used wool as a mulch. You can see from my pictures that there is some flea beetle damage, but the plants are healthy and producing. Yellow sticky traps work somewhat on flea beetles, especially in early spring during emergence. More so if you have a variety that flies. Keep in mind you don't want to use sticky traps when plants are flowering. The disadvantage of sticky traps is they don't discriminate and can trap your honeybees and other native pollinators. It's a sad day when you find a butterfly in one. For bad infestations, I use Monterey Insect Spray, which is Spinosad. This brand is Omri listed for organic growers. Chickens on cleanup duty are a great way to lower flea beetle populations. Hip, hip, hooray for the fall garden. Flea beetles die out at the end of the summer, so fall gardens are great times to grow cabbages, turnips, and kale with less insect stress. I hope this information has been helpful. Let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see. It would be a great help to me if you would boop that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and have a sunny day.